Oh, but I have to say, her animals, they've done fabulous, my poor kids. Oh, okay. And well, so- so they they they're good with the important stuff. That's yes, good. like they cook all the food homemade. What? Yes, they're crazy. Wow, they're very crazy millennials. Like they're your typical. So the dog food. Well, now you know Luca. Luca has passed. Yes, Luca passed. But when he got diagnosed with cancer, they started making him all homemade food. So they've continued this now. So uh, Kobe gets all homemade food, the new Husky. Oh, Jen, that's and wonderful. And they've got him on all these supplements. They, I, and the same with the cats. They, the cats, they do get crunchy food. But they're very, yeah, they're very, right. very good. So I was like, geez, four cats is a lot. But Alexa's home alone half the time now. And she's like, Mom, well, they keep me busy. And I'm like, fine. So, well, four cats is half of what we have, and it's yeah. going, it's going decent. All over she here. does is going to be scooping litter, but uh, you know who knows? We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Right now, I'm just trying to, you know, work on getting Fred, uh, you know, a good size and ready to get adopted either way. So, right, right, right. Uh, so yeah, so that's where I am with the cat, and um, well, that's going. That's good. Yeah. So we so. turned uh yeah, that's, uh, she's very, she's very cute. I don't know how you're going to give her up with those little white feet. Yeah, I'll post a picture of, uh, Freddie on our, on our Facebook couple of instigators and, uh, you guys can see her. Uh, what, what was the story that, uh, we were going to talk about the cake. I really wanted to talk about that in the first hour. Yeah, we're going to talk about cats and cake. Cats and cake. So, uh. <laughs> Here we go into our political doldrums again. Well, I mean, you know, our political stuff isn't like crazy. Oh, something else happened political that I wanted to talk about, but we'll probably get onto that next week. But so, yeah, so let me ring the bell for this. Yeah, we can ring it. I'm ringing it. Shame, shame, shame. It is shame, but here's the thing. All right, so let's tell the story first in case people don't know about the gay cake. All right, well... Yeah, this is like a paraphrase because it's a bit on every news channel. You right, know, right, right. If you don't know by now, anyways, there's a bit a baker in Colorado who okay. said no to a gay wedding because he said that he didn't want to make a cake for a gay wedding because it re- interfered with his religious beliefs. Right. So you know this went all the way through the court system, all the way to the Supreme Court, and then this week. The Supreme Court ruled seven to two that a baker shouldn't have to bake a cake for gay people if it interferes with their religious freedom. Mm -hmm. So people are upset, you know, they're upset. It's a blow to gay rights. It's a blow to this. And they can blow. The Supreme Court can blow me, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing is, like, I I think I might uh, be a little bit different than some gay people on this issue. Because I I actually am sort of glad that it got ruled the way it was. Mm -hmm. That it got ruled. um, Because, like, do you really want to give your money to somebody who's, you know, anti-gay? No, I I agree. Do you want to do that? Like, do you really want someone to make you something or participate in your marriage what your wedding in some mm-hmm. way that they're not right. comfortable with because i'll tell you what like i am really thrilled because guess what as a as a photo- as a potential wedding photographer to people now i can i can reject whoever i choose though if i don't want to do their wedding you know i'm like mm-hmm. oh you're on your you're on your fifth marriage nope that's against my religious freedom don't agree with you on that right oh you're a oh you're a conservative you don't you know, you're you're gonna you're gonna have a gun salute at your redneck you know, <laughs> um, at your A gun salute redneck, at your wedding. At your redneck <laughs> Trumpy uh, wedding. No, I don't wanna take pictures at that wedding. That's against my religion too. I don't like violence. So it really is gonna go two ways. And right. wait until I really think there's way more gays in the wedding planning industry. Then there are straight guys that are homophobic uh, making cakes. So, you know, if you want to discriminate, be prepared that it's going to go to both sides now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because now if you're, if as a gay, you can be like, nope, don't want to do that. I don't want to help you. 
you're on yeah. your whatever you're on your third marriage don't agree with that don't like you you know yeah. whatever so. yeah so i mean number one i is this that very first case that's been going on for a couple yes, years this is so one, i you know I'm what i guess i didn't realize it was in colorado in my mind i thought it was some one of those southern states where they really hate the gays no, so. in colorado okay colorado's a little bit weird it's a weird state yeah so this is like the supreme court made this law for anybody that doesn't want to serve gay people against their religion so i mean it's not just cakes does this mean anything well yeah this is this is going to set the precedence for anything right. that goes forward but what well, about so a restaurant prefer- amy it doesn't matter we're not protected as sexual sexual orientation is not a protected class so you can't do it because of race, but you can do it against sexual orientation. Like, that's insane if you look at it that yeah. way. Okay, so let's think about yeah. this. So are you saying, I mean, I haven't, I mean, you know, I, I've heard the story vaguely, and I, I guess I never put much thought in it because I didn't think it would I'm ever gonna, come this far. It. I'm going to go for it. But go ahead, post it on your website that you don't want, you know, gays at your restaurant. I'll yeah. Be not go. There's plenty of. There's plenty of gays running restaurants that I could go to. There's plenty of, you know, go ahead, put it right up there. No, but Amy, know here's, about it. right. But here's my thing. Go ahead, Amy. Tell, tell me when I come in the door. Dare, I, I dare go ahead. Let me, let me know because right. I'll go, I'll go right on Yelp and let everybody, you know, there's Yelp. You know, there's all this stuff. I, word will get out and these people will destroy their own doings with this. They're, they're going to destroy their own, dis, their own businesses with these decisions they're making. Let me know. I'm fine with it. If you don't like me, put it right out there. Don't make me guess. No, exactly. Okay. I agree. But it, but here's my thing. So, okay, here's an example of something that did happen. And there was, it's happened more than once, where an Uber driver or a Lyft driver would pick up two same, you know, a say, would pick oh, up yeah. a same sex couple and they were, gave each other a kiss in the car and he pulled over and said, Get out of my car that you're disgusting. And yeah. literally it's happened more than once and threw them out. Okay. Well, that's different because you have to abide. If Uber says you have to serve people of all sexual orientations. Okay. You know, and all that, then that would fall under, you know, Uber's policies, not the driver. You know okay. what I mean? That you right. Can't... But the driver, do they have a right to not drive them now because of this law? So I, how deep is no, this? Because it's if it's against Uber's policy to discriminate against people, then they'll be they in someone files a complaint against them. Then that driver should be removed from the Uber system, because okay. I think Uber does say in their mission statement that, you know, it's uh that they okay. protect us. So see. it's more it's gonna be more with these like independent non most chains, like this isn't gonna hold up. Okay. You know so yeah, I mean? like, like, let's it's, say it's we be walk like in these little independent places. Right, right, right. Like, let's, do. let's say we yeah. walk into Applebee's. Applebee's is a corporate, so okay. that's probably not gonna fly you know, that's probably not gonna fly there. That manager would probably get fired. Okay. You know? doing that so if you walk into a little privately owned uh let's just say a little italian restaurant and it's two women and you're sitting at the booth holding hands do they have a right to tell you to leave yes now they do that's insane yeah hmm not that's not good yeah, they do. I mean, and it's, I understand it's you. It's not good, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go to a place that's going to, you know, be no, like No, I understand. Anything, so it's, I know, do. Whatever. I completely understand. And I'm going to tell like you. Like I said, these places are going to bury themselves with their own hate mm-hmm. because the word's going to get out. If something like that happens, you know it's going to spread like wildfire, you know? You know how you know how word spreads like immediately. All someone has to do is go on their social media, say I was discriminated against that bada bingo uh pasta pasta fazul you know restaurant and then like it'll be all over the internet and nobody will go there you know so it no. is what it is but right. also like hey you know if you're say say you're a gay person and you're not comfortable with uh i don't know certain demographics of people coming into your place mm-hmm. you can work against that too Really? You know I'm saying, yeah. I someone don't know. Yeah, like, I mean, someone comes in like decked in, you know, w- with some kind of, uh, you know, decked in with some kind of Jesus garb or something like that, you know, dressed like the Pope. You can be like, screw you, I'm not waiting on you. I don't like, you know, 
that's a kind of le- unlikely story, but I'm saying it can go both ways. So it's any type of religious freedom, not just for Christianity. Mm-hmm. You know, you can say I'm Buddhist and I disagree with you. and Get out. That's you know crazy, I mean? though. It is I crazy. I don't know. You know, I just, like, this whole... Uh, it's, you know, I know we're like, it's a, it, this is not really, it's political, but it's not like crazy political, but I mean, the steps that we're taking backwards are just insane lately. You know, it's just, yeah, it was, um, we are now ranked on uh, in the, like the world, other world, other, like the globally, we are ranked as a developing nation. I read this week mm-hmm. as far as like socio social social policies and our economic our current economic state we are ranked as a developing country so that's where yeah. we're at so developing yeah. country we're, we're now like we've gone back like 200 years basically yeah i know like it's crazy huh things. yeah yeah handmaids all right listen handmaids. we've already we've already uh, used up this whole half hour for our first right. half so let's take a quick break and when we come back we are getting into our serious crazy news all right we'll be right we'll be back, back. All right, and we are back. And so, <laughs> so Danielle apparently pocket dialed me while we were doing the show, and um, and then I, he thought someone went bake. I, I know. Cake. He, I was, like, he thought Danielle was getting rejected for a cake. I was like, I'm like, I'm like, why is she calling me while she's walking the dog? So oh, now I'm like, I hope nothing you happened. Cake. You can't get any cake anymore. Yeah, please. they they. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, yeah, so that little drama's over. But yeah, me and Amy are just hammering through this. Amy's got her cough drops. Uh, I actually ran out, so excuse me I for got, the next yeah, 30 so minutes. Yeah, so Amy's coughing, you'll know what's yeah, going on Yeah, I'm trying to here. dig around for more in here, but all I found was some screws that I was supposed to replace something with months ago. And hey, yeah, real quick, Amy, I love the photo. Gear. I found some... <laughs> I found a lot of stuff, but no cough drops. So we'll see how it goes here. Yeah. So I saw the picture of your pool you sent me yesterday. It looks yeah, great. It's getting, it's getting. Uh, oh, it's at least open. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. There's so, some, there's some drama with that, but I think I'm gonna have to fill you in uh, next week. Next week. All right. So yeah, but I definitely yeah. I saw the picture. The pool looks awesome. I am way yeah. excited. Well, let's just hope it's operating uh, correctly. So. Oh, okay. So did I, you ever? Did I you... think it is, but you know, there's there's some issues with uh, once the house actually once we actually close on the house, I'm going to divulge some of the stuff that I've been keeping. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, home. the water looks really clear, and my kids' pool water is green and mucky and full of polylogs. Yeah, it's so definitely... I have my work cut out for me trying to get their pool clean. I don't know. I emptied it's half. It's definitely um like clean water. It's just cloudy. Yeah. And I drove by it today, and it was still cloudy. So I'm thinking it just needs some clarifier. But the problem is, since I don't own the house yet, I'm my hands are kind of tied as to what I can do. Right. Uh, but I took some matter. I, I'm. I, I took some matters into my own hands with the situation. All right. We'll get. We'll. All right. So so I'll we'll give you a little follow up next yeah, week. Yeah, we'll get into that'll that. That'll be a little foreshadowing for next week. I took yeah. some. I took some matters into my own hands today. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So typical, real... Amy, typical Amy style. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna be pushed around, you know. It's it's yeah. real typical. It's really typical. You're gonna you'll like what I'm Who, done, You're the so. original me and you are the original rule breakers. Yeah, we just, that's what how we got the name for the show. Because yep. we just can't we can't just sit there and let him be. You know what I mean? We gotta <laughs> We gotta just you know right. what Poke we want what we want we want done what we want done. We're just gonna do it the way we want, and that's yeah. it. So Yeah. So yeah. Do? So quickly, so but we're gonna get right into our uh News stories. I uh, have to tell you, I found our old news intro music. I'm playing oh, it yes, now. I was going to ask you about that. Yes. I know. So anyway, I was going to ask you about so that. So exciting that. for the audience, but I was <laughs> digging through my laptop trying to clean it out. Yes. And I found all of our old sound effects from the yeah. old show that they don't use over there anymore. 
because I yes, took them the with buzzer, me when I left. I got everything. Oh, I love that. So I finally found the folder. So here we go. Oh,